Hey guys, Nick here bringing you a brand new Halo 5 Guardians gameplay commentary. In the background you're watching a 30 and 6 gameplay on the new map Antifreeze. This is the new BTB map that has come out with the new update for Halo 5 Guardians. I got this gameplay the other day and I thought it was quite nice. I got a couple sprees, I even got a frenzy and I nearly get the running riot but of course I choke it. I don't know why but I have the worst luck and I can never seem to get the riot. I just do something stupid and just lose before it so hopefully you enjoyed the gameplay. It's pretty good. I'm very happy with it so I thought it was nice you know on the new map to show you some decent gameplay on it um, but in this today's video I'm just gonna be talking about a couple of things that have been going on with my life I guess just to keep you a little bit updated as I always say I love my channel being you know not just all about the game I like it being about me as a person you know my life in general I'm not gonna be like today uh, you know something super personal happened like I wouldn't do that but you know any Koei story or anything that I get up to I want to share it with you guys and girls who ever watches my videos and you know just get your thoughts and opinions on it so yesterday I actually saw the new Star Wars film I'm not gonna say any spoilers because that would be insanely cruel of me as the movie is fantastic if you don't follow me on Twitter I tweeted out that it is one of the best films I have ever seen and I still stand by that and you may be thinking, Nick, you've seen it once in the cinema, and of course, the cinema is going to add a lot of, you know, hype. It's going to add a lot of, like, atmosphere to watching it, because obviously if you're just sitting in your living room and you're watching a film on your TV, you know, you can enjoy it, but nothing beats being in some massive, you know, complex built around having a really awesome viewing experience, and you're with your friends, you have some, you know, bad food for you, you have some nachos, your sweets, your big large coke you know it's an awesome experience i love going to the cinema and i hope cinema never dies because i just really love the whole you know act of getting your ticket and going and watching a movie but uh so i, I went and i watched it and i instantly knew within the first like 10 15 minutes that i was going to love this film as i don't know i'm a massive star wars fan and i was really worried about this film because I love Star Wars and I, I would hate to see it go crap because a lot of franchises do go a bit crap if, they're, if they you know, come back after a long time of not really having anything done with them. For example, Star Trek Into Darkness back in like 2009, I think. I wasn't the biggest Star Trek fan of all time, but like everyone loved it. So many people loved that franchise and so many hated that new film. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe a lot of people did enjoy it, but maybe I just, you know couldn't respect or really take in how well it kept to this you know the the original series and stuff like that but for me watching it from an outside perspective I really did not enjoy the new Star Trek film at all and I, I really feel like that's one series where they took it in the wrong direction and I was worried that Star Wars would do the same thing but I was wrong JJ Abrams the uh, the director for it he he apparently is a massive Star Wars fan because he, he kept it completely true to how the series would you know is and how the fans would love to see it because he is a fan himself, so it was it was mind blowing. The effects were awesome. The fight scenes were incredible. Uh, like the CGI was just like it wasn't overused because a lot of the films these days really just overused the, the, the CGI, the fake effects or whatever. But in this it was used like very minimally, and like a lot of the you know the stuff was like real props and actually made. You know, so it was it looked real. It was actual like real film pretty much. So uh, I can't really I can't really describe it enough. It was amazing. I don't want to say any spoilers. So just go watch it yourself. It's amazing. It's like emotional. Like it actually makes you like um, feel emotions. I don't know if you're one of those stone-hearted people who really don't you know get affected by movies, but I do. I like I like I, I cried at the end of Fast and Furious Seven, and I it's like a car film. But the very end where it's like about Paul Walker and Vin Diesel and they're all driving. Oh God, it really it just messed me up. Like. It really hit me in the feels, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just a massive baby. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to talk. I just wanted to talk about Star Wars because I really loved it. And if you're not a big Star Wars fan, or you don't really know anything about the franchise, or if you're thinking about going to see the film, just take my advice. Go see it. You'll love it. You don't have to see any of the other films to enjoy it. And uh, I can guarantee you, you'll have a really good time if you enjoy sci-fi. And I'm guessing if you're watching a Halo YouTuber, then you do appreciate sci-fi to an extent. Uh, but yeah, I don't want to make this whole video about Star Wars, but I'm, I'm just talking about what I got up to. Uh, what else has been going on in my life? And my girlfriend Katie, she got back from America. I don't know if you knew this or if you even knew I had a girlfriend. Uh, as a, we, we've made videos together in the past, but uh, those were way before I, my channel kind of blew up a bit and I've, I gained all these new subscribers. So my, my girlfriend Katie was in New York for two and a half months as she uh, was originally born there and she just went to work there for a while. So she came back yesterday, which is awesome. I've, uh, I've missed her a lot, so it's awesome that she's back and uh, we got to hang out yesterday and uh, we'll probably be making videos and streaming again because we did that before and she really enjoyed it, I really enjoyed it and uh, the people that watched the videos and you know watched the live stream seemed to really enjoy it as well so that's just going to be a whole new dynamic 
of the type of videos I'll be making, uh, and so hopefully you're looking forward to that. I haven't necessarily told her about this, uh, I've mentioned it a couple of times, but I really want to make videos with her, I think that's really, really fun, and it's just it's something unique, you know, not every couple, not every person that does YouTube has a girlfriend who would be willing to do this kind of thing with them, so it's, it's awesome that I have one, and I'm very lucky in that way, but yeah, <sighs> I've just sort of... I've just sort of sat down and talked into my microphone. I haven't really done this for a while. Normally most of my videos have a real point to it. If it's not a highlight video, it's, you know, something else. It's like a topic or something. But I really do enjoy, like, one of my favorite things about YouTube is that I'm able to just sit down and just talk into my microphone for, you know, 10 minutes and just vent whatever's on my mind. And maybe to some of you, you may not like that. Maybe you like just the structured videos about a certain topic and you love just hearing me talk about it. But... I don't know, I just love YouTube as a platform to get my thoughts and my opinions and just how I'm feeling about things out there a bit. I wouldn't like go into politics or anything that deep, but you know, anything that I'm thinking about in my everyday life or something that I feel like I just want to talk about to some people, it's really, it's awesome to have the ability to talk to like a couple of hundred people um, that watch my videos and you know, get their feedback and you know, see how they feel about a certain topic that I talk about. So that's, that's like the main reason why I love YouTube so much. I love entertaining people and I love having the platform to, you know, just chat to a couple hundred people, like, that, to me that's insane. If I ever, if I never got to the point in YouTube where I had thousands of viewers, I wouldn't, I wouldn't care. Obviously, I would really enjoy it. I would love to be able to entertain more and more people, and I'm going to keep trying to grow my channel and get to that point, but, you know, the fact I have a couple of hundred people who love watching my videos, well, not love, but enjoy watching my videos, and, uh, you know, just enjoy me entertaining them is it, it makes me really happy i just whenever i make a video and i see good feedback on it it makes me super super happy so if you're ever wanting to start youtube i may i might make a, like a full video talking about this about you know how to start youtube or what what's the best way to start youtube just don't go in and do it thinking i can't wait to start making lots of money because i've been doing youtube for five years and i haven't made more than like 25 dollars if that off it so just put that in perspective obviously there's some people who blew up after like a year and make thousands of dollars thousands of dollars but those are the very very lucky few who you know managed to do that so don't ever go into youtube thinking you're gonna make money just go into it with the idea of i want to make entertainment for myself and others because you know pretty much all my videos i look back on and i i love watching them because i find them entertaining i don't know if that's weird because it's me you know it's my own content it's me making the videos and in the videos but you know i, I i'm sometimes editing a video of mine and i'm laughing at it and thinking that's so funny and i don't know if that's weird but you know i just love looking back on these fun times that i have on the game so that's like the main reason I do it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'm sorry that it didn't have a necessary massive point. I guess it was kind of me selling Star Wars to you and just talking about, you know, videos with my girlfriend in the future and stuff like that. So yeah, hopefully you go and see Star Wars. I, I definitely recommend it. And hopefully you're looking forward to these videos and live streams that I'm going to do with my girlfriend Katie in the future. Uh, but yeah, if you don't follow me on Twitter, my link is in the description. I'm trying to get 400 followers. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you later. Bye! Okay, so really quick here at the end, uh, just a little little thing to f put in at the end of the video. So as I said, Kitty got home. She came home yesterday, uh, but she told me that she wasn't going to be able to see me uh, today or the next day. Today's Saturday, and she we were originally going to hang out today, but she said we couldn't, and I was quite bummed out. And obviously, I've been waiting a long time to see her, and I, she told me that we couldn't see each other. So I was like, oh, that sucks, but okay, I, uh, it's whatever. So we're going to hang out Sunday. Uh, but thing is, she actually uh, came to my house and she surprised me and she recorded my live reaction. I'm going to put that clip in here at the end just because it's really funny and uh, yeah, I think you guys will enjoy that. So yeah, enjoy the wee video and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye! What? <laughs> Why are you here? Why are you here? I came here to see you. What? what? Are you here? I didn't expect that. I know. That's why I told you I could see you.